welcome to the first garden tour of 2022. Re everything is really looking good this year. Apple tree straight ahead, fig tree, and all the perennials is normal. The irises, the phlox, the hostas, the Rosa Sharon, the Budlia, the lilac. I actually survived a dahlia bulb over the winter. The roses are doing fabulous. Elderberry. Can't wait to harvest that. Butternut squash. Well, the parsley and the basil are not, well, they're just starting, so we'll, fingers crossed on them. Thyme and oregano. Doing well, actually. Lilac, no, not lilac, lavender. I have to go buy more of them. I'm down to three. Two of them didn't survive the move. And the teeny tiny basil plants in here. Fingers crossed the slugs don't eat them first. The fig tree survived winter beautifully. The good old peach tree. Thing it must be 20 years old. And my potato experiment. Just, just buried under a pile of hay. Purple sprouting broccoli, I believe. Uh, celery, arugula, mixed greens, red onions. I don't know how the. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think they look good? Kale. The slug pellets aren't don't seem to be working too well, because there was uh, three other ones here. They're completely eaten. Radishes and I believe beets. Uh, cucumbers. I'm not sure which variety either. I'm I'm getting a thousand here with memory here. Mixed sunflowers. Broccoli rob. Marigold. Calendula. Another thing the seeds aren't sprouting. It's terrible. And then the garden. Peppers. I. I think there's uh, 29 peppers, 13 eggplants, 62 tomato plants. Thirty-nine uh, bean plants. Then there's all the way in the back there. There's uh, zucchini and pumpkin. They got all mixed up, so I'm, they're all doing well, but I'm not sure which is which. Let's hope for a good season. <laughs>